Hi everyone, as promised, uh, I want to come back to make another video on the temperature, the cold, and the frost, and what it can do to your plant. So, we in the midst of winter, and all this tree here, you see here, all my Hawaiian papaya. As you know, the name Hawaiian papaya, papaya come from a nice warm tropical region of Hawaii, Brazil, South America, so and so. Now in California, in a temperate zone like California, uh, they'll, they'll do fine as long as they are well developed and well established. They'll do just fine. But occasionally, uh, in this example here, they'll get damaged from the frost and from the cold when the weather is get, get too cold. Now cold is a relative word. Uh, Last two weeks, we have about 35, 36 degree. And at nighttime, when, when the moisture build up, it turned into frost and turned into ice, whatever, and accumulated on the surface of the leaves here, as you can see here. And obviously, ice will rupture plant cells, and that's what damage, caused damage to the, um, the leaves. Okay, in another part of the country, 36 degree is not very cold, but again, for even any human, 30 some plus degree is quite cold. You can catch hypothermia if you stay out too long, uh, and the water get even colder if, if you were wet. Okay, so here, then it's a good example of how frost can damage some of the leaves here. And imagine putting some vegetable into the freezer and take them out a few hours later and this is what happened. Look at this. It just crumble like that. Okay, eventually all this will be fall off uh, and the plant will produce new, new, new leaves. Now this are about, this two here are about four feet, five feet tall and this two here are almost over six feet tall now. So they, they kind of well established in the ground um, so that give them a better, better chance of surviving the cold because they were established and they are somewhat big now. Imagine if they were just six inches tall, the frost would just wipe them out. I can, I can assure you of that. Uh, anything that, that small, tiny, you need to shelter them, you need to put them into your patio, your greenhouse, etc. Et uh, with this one here, you can protect them if you like to by putting a tarp or something over them overnight and then in the morning come out and remove them. That's all you can do. But I didn't do it because I think they'll do okay. They'll survive the, the cold. And if they can't survive the cold, then uh, there's no point in growing them in this kind of environment. Now, here's a good sign here. If you look at the top here, this is the top of one of the tree. This one is, this leaf here, you see that it's damaged. But the new growth here is not affected. So the plant will put out new growth, and this is beautiful, nice and green, and you can tell. I mean, you can compare this two right here. Those are the new leaves. So they've been growing new, developed new leaves, and those are fine. So the plant, it's alive, and it is okay. It's not dying. That's uh, the whole uh, thing I'm trying to point out. Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you guys what frost can do to your plant. And here, I'm going to get a real close-up shot. I'm, Look at this. All that is, is from the frost and the cold. Now the bottom leaves here uh, have some protection, so that's why you don't see that much damage. You can see that. Uh, the one on top, obviously, is where all the, all the moisture accumulated and it turned into frost. That's when they get more damage. And look at here, look at this. Mainly the top leaves are damaged. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, please post a comment so we can start our discussion. And if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to our channel. And happy gardening. And I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you for watching.